Hi, this is Ryan Reagan, the founding partner of HTXL. So today I'm going to share with you a test-taking strategy that will immediately improve your score by 10 to 20% on ID, any IB test or IB exam. Okay, so this strategy has been proven to work by university professors. So it's really going to work. I implore you to try it on your upcoming IB test or exam because it will immediately improve your score by 10 to 20%. And before I start giving you the strategy, um, I'd like to tell you something. Okay, so by sharing this video on your Facebook profile as a public post and send us a direct message to our Facebook page uh, with your email address, then we're going to email you our free IB Math Question Bank and our free IB Notes for free. So our IB Math Question Bank includes all the most uh, common question types in the IB exam. Okay, so it's really going to help you study and IB Notes will break down all the complicated concepts and there are a lot of practice questions that will help you in your exam. Okay, so if you want it, uh, share this video on your Facebook profile page and send us a direct message to our Facebook page with your email address and we're going to send those to you for free. So the secret is this, instead of doing an IB exam or IB test in the order that the questions are given, always do the easiest question first. So when you go into the exam, do the easiest question, then do the second easiest question, then do the third easiest question. Right? This is going to make a huge difference to your results. You might be wondering why. Well, because in an exam you have a fixed period of time, you have a fixed amount of time, obviously, right? Uh, by always doing the easiest question, you're always maximizing the amount of score you can get for every minute, right? So if, let's say in this particular minute, if I do the easiest question, I'll get the maximum score in that particular minute. So if, if you always do the easiest question, you're essentially maximizing the total score you'll get, okay? Another thing is that by doing the easiest question first, you build up your confidence. So towards the end of the exam, when you're doing the harder questions, you have confidence you need to do the harder questions, right? If you follow the order of the exam, sometimes there are hard questions in the beginning, then that ruins your confidence. Then towards the end of the exam, even if there are easy questions, you're not able to do it because you already lost your confidence. That's very, very important. So this, this is actually based on a, an economic theory developed by university professors. It's called the lowest hanging fruit principle. Basically, the lowest hanging fruit principle states that in a given amount of time, if you want to maximize your output, you need to always pick the lowest hanging fruit. Always do the easiest thing and you'll maximize your outcome, maximize your output. So this is the lowest hanging fruit principle. So I implore you to try this strategy in your upcoming exam because it's going to surprise you how, how well it works.